So, one of the most hated on things in the entire world is the quadratic formula. I don't despise it, to be honest, but what the quadratic formula even is, is a way to solve these um, polynomials, right? And, and a normal person, if I was going to find the solutions to this, I would just use, I would factor, right? I would say, oh, I would factor it and get my two answers. But the quadratic formula, it was kind of cool because it was invented for problems that were just simply impossible to factor. So uh, that's why they invented them. You know, you have to find a way to get your two solutions. By the way, a little tip. The largest exponent in any polynomial is how many solutions you should get. So this one, I know I should get two solutions. And I'm going to pretend like I'm terrible at factoring, so I can't figure it out. So once I look at this and I say, I can't figure it out, it's impossible, that's when the quadratic formula comes in. And this is what it is. Negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Done. I hate how like people say there's a song. All they do is say that in like a rhythmic way. That's not a song. Anyways, okay, so this looks really confusing to me. And what it is is these letters, I don't see any A, B, or C. So what is that even? What does the A, B, and C have to do with anything? It comes from this notion. Any, any uh, polynomial like this is actually in this form. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. So in this case, all we have to do is find our A, B, and C from our polynomial, plug them in, and we're good. And I actually recommend you do that. You start with defining a, b, and c. So a is whoever's in front of the x squared. Oh, there's no one in front of the x squared. Okay, so then it has to be a one, right? So a is one. b is the guy in front of the x, again. So it looks to me like it's negative one. And c, in this case, would be the last guy, which is negative six. Cool? Then you just like, you know, you still could mess up, honestly. Like people just mess these up all the time because there's so many steps. But then you just plug them in. So Negative b would be negative, negative 1, right? b is negative 1, plus or minus b squared, so it's negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 6. That looks easy, but this is where over, excuse me, over 2a, 2 times 1. This is where the chaos sort of begins, right? This is where kids start to totally mess up. Negative, negative 1 is 1, plus or minus, I'm going to do this in my head. Negative 1 squared is 1, and if you see this negative 4 times negative 6, that's a positive. So I have 1 plus 24, or the whole inside comes out to 25, and then I have over 2. From here, you actually, this is, this is weird. From here, because you have this plus or minus, you actually go into two different problems. You would start to, I would break these apart. So I'd have 1 plus root 25 over 2, and then 1 minus root 25 over 2, and I'd solve them separately. The root of 25 is 5, so I have 1 plus 5, which is 6, over 2. This is 3, that's one answer, and this one is 1 minus root of 25, which is 5, is negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. So that's it. I think the hardest part is, when you have the quadratic formula, absolutely define a, b, and c before you plug it into this horrible thing. So I'll give you one more, and I'm not going to do the whole problem, but let's just define A, B, and C, and then you would know like where to go from there. Okay, so let's add a, a, a trinomial like this. Okay, <laughs> what if I had a tri trinomial like this? 3x squared minus 5x plus 10, or something totally random. This is a good example because don't even lie, you can't factor that. That's like way too hard to factor. So I wouldn't even try to factor that equals zero. I would actually know out of the gates this is impossible, so I'm going to do a quadratic formula. So a, b, and c. What is a in this case? Remember, it's whatever. I'll write it right here. Plus c equals 0. It's whatever is in front of the x squared. So a would be 3. b in this case would be not 5. b would be negative 5. And c in this case would be 10. And then, I'm, again, I'm not going to totally do it, but then you'd have b squared minus 4, blah, blah, blah. So you'd have negative negative 5 plus or minus negative 5 squared minus 4 times ac, so 3 times 10, all over 2 times a, which is that. And then you take your time, don't mess up, don't make a bunch of adding errors and stuff, and then you're done. So that's the quadratic formula. I don't really know why it's like has the worst reputation in America. I guess it is kind of tedious and pretty annoying, but it is a way to solve a trinomial when you cannot factor. So I guess it's like a good tool to have in your tool belt. Anyways, if you're having a hard time with this at your local high school, don't forget you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School. Pass it there and the credits will be transferred back to your school.